How you doing there, DeMarco? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Out There. Check out the movie Devotion. This film is based on the true story of fighter pilots back in the 1950s during the Korean War and the story of Jesse Brown, the first African-American aviator in the history of the U.S. Navy. I cut up with the cast. Check it out. We knew this day might come. Doesn't make it any easier. Great to have you both here, obviously playing husband and wife. You know, this is based on a true story about these elite um, fighter pilots. What's so fascinating is this loving, devoted relationship. Let's talk about building your characters together. Ooh. Um, Jonathan reached out to me first, very quickly. He just was like, you know, do you want to go ice cream, walk, dinner? We did it. Um, and we sat and we talked. And I brought to him my questions that I had for Jesse. Um, and I remember any question that I had, Jonathan had an answer. Daisy's nickname is, uh, is it Tutti Frutti? Is that the character's yes. nickname? You took her out for some ice cream and there was some Tutti Frutti ice cream. Is that true? That's true. I, I went on a walk earlier that day and uh, was musing on how to, you know, meet this beautiful actress and, and build our, our relationship for the for the mm -hmm. screen and the ice cream shop. I was looking at the flavors and, and truth be told, I don't really eat ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and I saw it and I went, boom, tutti frutti. That's mm -hmm. where we're going to go. That's where I'm going to ask her if she wants to go. And I have to ask, favorite ice cream flavors for both of you? Uh, I would say salted caramel. Though I don't really eat a lot of ice cream. When right. I eat ice cream, right. it's salted caramel. Um, right now, I'm in an Earl Grey phase. Wow, that is Oh, that is wow. <laughs> wow. Look at you. That makes sense. OK. So much. <laughs> Ready, set, hit And then what you fighting for? This movie is obviously based on a true story, and you had to kind of dig deep to create these characters. For you, um, Jonathan, how did you connect with Jesse? Let me know sort of how you did that research to, and what essence did you feel you had to bring onto the screen? Oh, uh, the book, certainly. Mm -hmm. um, the stories, yes, and particularly the uh, relationship between he and his brother, mm -hmm. who I got to meet mm -hmm. um, right there towards the end of his life. And, I saw he how he lit up when he spoke about Jesse, and I I, I heard right. the way he would laugh about him, and you know just the impression that Jesse made on him, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll conclude that that's where I would okay, this guy was a light. It must be hard being the a naval aviator. It's the toughest job there is. Did you ever think that you'd be in a squadron with a colored aviator? Congratulations on this incredible moving movie. As a director on on something like this, obviously it's based on a true story. What were some of the key points that you wanted to make sure came across on the screen? You know, I think it's just to shine a light on how remarkable this story is on its own. Um, and to get to share something, you know, that, that is so remarkable to people who have never heard of it is such mm -hmm. a joy. In sort of the heart of the movie, one thing I wanted to share was right. really how complicated and nuanced it really can be to be there for someone earnestly. You belong in this guy, Jesse. It's a I think what I find so so interesting is this world for you uh, is is not new. You really you know grew up in the um, you know in this in this world. Thirty years behind Jesse, uh, my dad was an naval aviator. He was the. Um, second African-American aviator on the Blue Angels. Um, my first memories are all around aviation. So that was sort of the, the crazy thing about Devotion was obviously not just getting to share Jesse and Tom's story with more people, but in right. some way also kind of telling my dad's story too. The North Koreans came pouring over the 38th parallel. This is war. Congratulations to both of you on this incredible movie. It was very moving. Joe, you know, you, you're one of the aviators. Did you have to go through any kind of flight training for this? You pretty much, you go to one dinner with Glenn Powell <laughs> and um, you just try to soak up as much knowledge. You have literally with pen and paper and you just listen to him talk. You don't even ask about planes. He just talks about planes. Also, spending time with these epic warbirds that we got to be around. There's only like 11 of them in the world left. And they think, I think they have right. about seven of them there. And then wow. these old helicopters from museums. I mean, it was just mind blowing. And we got a lot of help from a lot of important people to make mm -hmm. sure that this happened. That's why you can't always do what you're told. 
What do you want me to do? Just be my wingman. Thomas, obviously, you know, you play the leader of the squadron, so you're kind of a bit of a father figure, but also like a kind of a big brother. Talk about sinking your teeth into this particular character. The words that keep on coming up are responsibility, honor. You know, it, it, it was a, a real honor to, to get to know this man, um, to get to know his family, uh, to get to know his story um, during that time, who he was, how he held himself, how he held yeah. his uh, his squadron during that time. And um, I hope he would have been very proud to, uh, to see that the story of Jesse and Tom is coming back around and that those two families yeah. stayed together. Devotion on all levels is at the core of this movie. What is something that you are devoted to that is, you know, not related to your career? Trying to be the best father that I possibly can be, not only to a daughter, but to a son. So being two different versions of a father. Well said. And Joe? I mean, ditto, obviously, but also Duolingo. I'm just trying to learn Italian slowly. Oh yeah. And I am shit, so I'm, uh, maybe next time we talk. Yes, yeah. see. Si. Parlo italiano, io parlo italiano un po' di più. Hey, hey, hey. Just remember you belong down here with us too, okay? Follow me on social media at Melissa DeMarco for more exclusive content. I'll see you guys out there.